Hi everyone, happy Saturday. Um, I thought that today, I've had several questions and it's the weekend, so I thought um, checking in just to see how everybody's doing for their keto. And I keep getting asked, can I drink this, can I drink that, talking about cocktails. So here's my take on cocktails on keto. Yes, I do still have drinks. Um, I probably don't drink any less than I did before. Um, I just tweak how I've done it. Now, this is what I've noticed when I'm drinking alcohol on keto. We all know um, just from our previous lives that the keto, hi Brittany, that the keto um, lifestyle can have stalls. We can lose in chunks, then we stall for a bit. Um, I've never actually gained weight back from having drinks keto style, but I can't say for 100% certain that it hasn't stalled my weight. So, hey Nicole, that it hasn't stalled my weight because I absolutely know it has. Now, for those of you who I said when I first started doing it up until April, I was doing things wrong. I think I really was kicking myself out of, hey Sam, I was kicking myself out of keto um, because I was just doing it wrong. So here is the best way I can tell you that if you want to have alcoholic beverages while you're doing keto, this would be how you do it. People have asked me about wine. Um, I mean, any sweet wine, and there's just so much sugar in it, it's just really a no. Um, I'm not a big red wine drinker, so it's not that I wouldn't have a glass every now and again, but I've kind of just more from, that's just something that's not really for me. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Marina. Um, that it's not really something for me. Um, beer is completely out of the question. Um, believe me, I've tried it. I've tried to sneak it. I've tried to do whatever. You want to talk about gaining six to seven pounds overnight? I've done it. Um, so I would say beer is just an absolute no-no. It doesn't matter if it says it has four carbs. It just doesn't matter. It's not good for you. And I know the ultras have four. Some people try to sneak those in. They are better if you're not on keto, but for keto, the beer is just a no-no. Um, so I'm going to show you what I tend to do is, and we all know we can't have any kind of Diet Coke or Diet Sprite or anything like that, they all will literally, they all have some sort of bad ingredient that will kick you out of ketosis. So um, I'm going to show you my little arsenal of things, but I do use the skinny syrups. I have that, I, this one is coconut. I have Meyer lemon and raspberry. Hi, Cindy. I uh, have a pineapple. I have raspberry. Some of my more fun ones, if I'm trying to actually make a drink, there's a Cosmo one. Um, I do have the margarita one. Um, love all of those. So basically what I do is if I'm making like a martini or a drink like that, I put in vodka and the rest water. Um, I don't actually add anything else to it um, besides water. I figure it's water. Water is at least a better option to help dehydrate because we get dehydrated so easily. Hi, Kim. Oh, I know Kim's got some good uh, fun drink uh, recipes too. But I do stick a lot with the Jordan Skinny Syrup. So I'll do like water or vodka, water, and then one of the syrups. So if the sucralose doesn't bother you, and the sucralose might be what kind of stalls me as well, um, but th those are the options that I have. Other options that I use, and the other thing is, is when you are looking at your bottle of vodka or your bottle of whiskey, there's no nutrition label on there, so I almost always look it up. Um, I, I'm pretty sure any flavored vodka is going to have sugar in it. I either do vodka or whiskey. Whiskey, if you do flavors, ouch, it's probably going to kill you too with sugars. So I literally, when I find one, I just look it up to see if it's something I can have or not. Um, the other thing I choose to do, and I do this more, well, if we're sticking with vodka, I love doing the Mio Sport Blue. Not all Mios are created equally. Some of them actually do have the maltodextrin. My husband's going to walk in the door and scare me. There he is. I'm on live, honey. Uh, but I love this because, look, it actually has electrolytes in it. So if you're having drinks and our electrolytes get out of whack to begin with, this is such a perfect one to use. There's uh, only two or three of them that actually have electrolytes in them. Hi, Todd. 
um, that only um, have electrolytes in them. So to me, if you're having adult beverages, this is the perfect one to use. I think it's this one in grape. Not a huge grape fan, but this one I like a lot. Um, the other water enhancers, hi Dave. I'll tell him, he just walked out. Uh, as I found these, they're a little bit more pricier, but they're stevia. Um, I think this one is pineapple coconut and the other one I have is lemonade. So they're perfect even just for water. Um, I do try to stick with just water without enhancers, but enhancers are so difficult to find that don't have bad ingredients in them. I can promise you there's not one crystal light that's good for you. Um, crystal light was something I was always using, like in the powder, like whatever. They all have something bad in them. Um, this one here is just plain. So it's nice if you are like a brandy or bourbon person just to put a little brandy bourbon water and this in it. Um, it just sweetens it up a little bit, kind of like an old fashioned or something. I need to try to find a cherry one. Um, but I use these too. These are the same ones I use in my coffee. This is a plain stevia and this is a vanilla because I had somebody ask me, well, can I do the vanilla Crown Royal? No, sorry. Um, it, it, it's just, we can, it's got too much sugar in it. Now these I haven't tried, but my bestie Ellen did give them to me. They are Zevias. Um, they are sweetened with stevia and there is no bad ingredients in them. So this is a ginger ale and she gave me a ginger root beer because I really wanted to try a mojito. So that's why I put the mojito on the picture uh, for the live. So that is, again, I'm not saying that you should be drinking. I'm just saying if you choose to, um, number one, know that it could stall your weight. Um, you shouldn't be getting on the scale every day, but I'll be very honest, I do. And I've kind of turned it in, like just being that science teacher in me kind of looks to see, you know, do I gain weight, do I lose weight? And quite honestly, if I weigh myself the next day, some days I'm down like one or two pounds, probably from being dehydrated, or I am, it just swings the other way. I might be up two or three pounds because I was de I'm dehydrating, my body's holding on to everything. So it's a fine line, drink your water, be responsible. But for those people that say you can't have drinks and stay in keto, like I've literally tested uh, my blood the morning after um, many, many times just to see, oh my gosh, I kick myself out, blah, blah, blah. And it, it does not kick you out if you do it the right way. So again, be responsible. If you're just starting, again, it's kind of like sweets. I'm not going to tell you not to because I know I didn't um, wait, um, but that's up to you. Just know it could hinder you getting fat adapted. When I say that, it just might take a little bit longer. My philosophy is it's what I do most of the time, not what I do once every once in a while. So if this is just me like, and it, it stalls me a little bit, I'm really okay with that. Uh, my husband and I just both like to have um, cocktails on the weekends or even, you know, something with dinner one night. So whatever is your lifestyle, this way you can actually be prepared. I've been trying to find, I don't think the skinny girl stuff, like these are skinny mixes, Jordan, Jordan skinny mixes. This brand, it's the same that we use for the coffee. Um, those have the sucralose in it, but I'm pretty sure the skinny girl ones all have maltodextrin in it. I'd have to check. I know the water enhancers at Aldi's, some are okay, some are not. So again, uh, that's what made me get my first pair of readers is trying to read ingredient labels. So I hope everybody has a safe, responsible, and wonderful Saturday. Rum club soda with lime and, uh, that sounds delicious too. And again, I'm assuming, Kim, you have to use just plain rum, like you can't use flavored rum. I'm pretty sure anything flavored is gonna have some sort of sweetener in it. But I did remember that you are the rum girl. I've always been a vodka person and I've kind of turned into, when we went to Nashville and went to um, the Jack Daniels Distillery, kind of got into whiskey from there, but it's really more just to taste different ones than it is to say, ooh, I really want a whiskey drink. <laughs> so, okay, just Bacardi, okay. Um, that's what I thought. So, and Kim, maybe, I thought you had some sort of puree something, and now I can't remember what it was that you said was so good over the summer, not to put you on the spot, but if I'm right and that was you, maybe you could post that 
in the comments. But I sure appreciate everybody coming in on a Saturday. Tomorrow is football Sunday. My game is on at noon. Yes, I'm a Bears fan. Yes, I would love to see the Patriots lose. So I will, I'm gonna wake up and do homework again in the morning. And I will probably post when I'm gonna go live. But if there's other questions, something in particular, like I still have so many different subjects that I could cover, but if there's something in particular that maybe somebody's just trying to get back into it, or you're just getting started and you have questions, let me know. Um, oh, that's right, the heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna have to try that. Um, Put it in the comments, send me a private message. I know there's new people that's been watching and new people that's been sending messages. I absolutely love it. I would like to say, I think it's a big shout out again and almost always to Kim um, Coburn because she pointed out the difference of the MCT oils. This is how easy it is to get sidetracked and not check. Mine has palm oil in it. So I just reordered the, the different one to make sure. Now I will make sure I always, always look at my MCT oil. So thanks for that, Kim. You guys have a great day. Have a happy Saturday.